got Happy Mail. I'm so excited, you guys. I had no idea it was coming, so it was a complete surprise to me uh, when my husband went out to check the mail today. This is from Pam Ben E. I will link her channel below. And so I haven't looked at it yet. All I have seen is what you guys see here. I'll put a couple things out to look at while, very cute, while I open the card here real quick. So um, she was thanking me for, she had sent, she had entered a challenge and then she asked me to be the person she would, you know, go next. And then I had done it. So it was, you know, it was a nice little thank you card saying thank you for doing that. So she's been um, making master boards and then she scans them. And that's really cool. And she does fun stitching around. I tend to use only the zigzag and not any of the other stitches in my that my sewing machine has. I don't know if my sewing machine even does this one or this one. I do know that I have to change the foot on my sewing machine for a lot of them. My sewing machine does do that one. So I'm kind of lazy and haven't tried a lot of them, but I should because it's really cute. These are adorable. Look at the um, the charm. Oh, there's two. Cute. And then she has a nice little... My, my words have left me today. I did a video a little bit ago and I, I couldn't put two words together in it either. Cluster, really cute. And another cute little cluster. As a giant guest check. I mean, it's not really a guest check, but it's really cute. And there's this envelope. We'll look at that in a second. Recipe, butterscotch mousse. I made some mousse the other day for the first time. I had made a chocolate cake and it was gluten-free. Now, I have had this particular mix before and I knew it was dry. So I thought maybe if I make a mousse to put in between that it'll help. So I found a recipe for white chocolate mousse and I made it and it turned out okay, but it didn't really help the cake. I, I liked the mousse part of it. <laughs> Molded salads. And it's like a jello salad. Mmm, Japanese spice barbecue, Italian eggplant. Fun for um for cookbook journals, which I need to do one. I started doing one and then I think I got um intimidated. Fun little for a house type journal. Teriyaki chakros. Anyway, yeah, I for some reason I've gotten intimidated when I think about trying to do one. Thank you for these. Um, I don't know why I do that. And snap sack, small quilt kit. Grandma's favorite. I imagine there's something different in there. Let's go ahead and take these out and we'll move that over to the side. Some fun napkins. Let's see what's in here. Fabrics. I know she's been doing a lot of trying to declutter and um, it is the kit. Look at that. Oh, you know I'm not going to make the kit. <laughs> I don't know that I have patience for quilting. I thought about doing it at one point. And I can sew the topper together, but when it comes to all the rest of it, that's very overwhelming to me. But these are beautiful fabrics, so you know that they are very much appreciated. I love the small print. I know not everybody does, but I really do love the small print. Very pretty. I love those flowers. Hopefully you guys are okay in camera. And then this will be great for backing and Maybe stamping on. I need to do that. It's something that I haven't done a lot of, but this is really, really cool. Thank you so much. I mean, it's like a whole kit, a whole kit's worth of fabrics. If I was, if I were brave enough, but I am not. I am not. They are very pretty. 
Okay. And then we have, look at that adorable paper clip. Isn't that cute? I feel washi tape in here. Ooh, some fun things. Every day is a fresh start. And then this looks like like flower petals or something like that. And then a geometric. Some tickets. And they're attached to some message thingies. Actually, some of these might go good in my springtime journal. What do you guys think? Hmm. Thank you. And then, and of course the bag. You can always reuse the bag. So we have some nice napkins. Could use this in the springtime journal too. I mean, they're kind of fall color, so I don't know. Lipstick can't solve problems, but it's a pretty good start. These are pretty. I can definitely use that. Hmm. Yeah, I'm having a little bit of um, creator's block right now. Be positive. Yeah, I could use this too. So yeah, these will be helpful. Wow. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Ooh, pretty. I love roses. Is that a rose? It's a rose. Yeah. Pretty, pretty springy colors. Thank you. And then there's a, like a how-to doily type uh, book. It must have attached them with stick pins or something because it would just fall, wouldn't it? I asked my mom when I was at her house recently. I said, did you guys have doilies on things when you were growing up? And she said, we did, but not on the furniture. Her mother put them on tables, but not on furniture. Cute. These will be fun to use. And of course the page is nice. A nice, you know, dingy color, <laughs> aged color. Thank you, Pam, for thinking of me and for the surprise. I'm so glad you didn't tell me that it was coming because it made my day. Um, okay, so I did a little bit of thrifting um, on Saturday. I made a video to have you guys thrift with me and then I chickened out. I thought it was not good, so I didn't show you. I actually deleted it from my phone already. So let me show you what I found. I also didn't have time to go to more than one store and I didn't find all that much at the one store. So I didn't think it was gonna be all that exciting, but maybe I will do it again in the future and uh, see if I can come up with a better, I've never done it. And so I feel like I was showing you too much of the store that didn't matter. There were also a lot of people in the store, so. I had to talk quiet and stuff. So I found this cookbook and it's all bent up. So, you know, I definitely did not buy it for the cover, but you guys know that I like to reuse the, the um, binders, the, the rings, so I can do that. And you know, if I'm careful, I might even be able to get this paper off. I don't know, it, it probably will tear, but you never know. The reason why I bought it though, is that it has all of these and I think they're great. These pages, they're double-sided and you know, it's kind of hard to come upon double-sided pages. So I thought they were really nice. And then it has um, recipe cards and it has the dividers that are really pretty. So I might just use this, all of this, just like it is this stuff and add to it um, with, with extras. The problem may be finding more cookbook stuff that is in these colors, because a lot of times cookbook stuff, if you haven't noticed, there's a lot of blues and reds in cookbook stuff. So we'll see, we'll see what I can find, but I think it'll be really cool. Um, it's just a repeat, but there's quite a few pages. So that's good. And then in the back of it, it has, so yeah, I'm just 
just showing you, it's all the same. The back of it has this thing that I don't think I would leave in the journal because it takes up way too much space, but it might be fun to have it as an addition to the journal. And it's made from something you can clean off. So that could be really cool. I could make some like really giant tags to put maybe down in each of the things. I don't know, but um, it has the little plastic guard on it too. So you can cover your recipe so it doesn't get food on it, which I have never done before, but they have them in there. Okay, so I found that. It was $3, which to me was kind of a lot. Um, and I didn't get lucky enough to choose any of the items that had stickers that were on sale. This is a songbook and I got it because of the size. It is just like, I don't know, four and a quarter by six. And I thought that that would be pretty good. Just, you know, you can make journaling card out of the whole thing. Cause normally we take a music page and we have to tear it down. This has the entire thing on it. So I thought that that was kind of neat and it was 69 cents. So that's not bad. And then I found, Ooh, no, I didn't even think about this, but these could go in that cookbook journal because the colors are very similar. I actually got these because I was thinking they'd be good for fall journals. There are two of them. They were 99 cents, which is kind of a lot for the amount of paper that is in them, honestly. Uh, but I got them anyway, just because they are one-sided pages, which is, again, not the best. But I really like the, uh, the, the paper. So. so yeah, I got those and it has this that you can fussy cut. Is there just one or two? Two of them. And it's staticky. Is there two? No? Three. So there's three of those, and I got two packages, so that could be good. I might use some in the journal um, for fall and some in the cookbook journal if, if I end up doing it. Those were 99 cents a piece. And they are Anna Griffin. And then the last thing I found was these Wallies. They look like, um, oh, they are Ingle Bright. Let me see if I can get them open real quick. really cute. There was, somebody had gotten rid of their collection of Mary Englebright calendars, but I didn't want them because, again, I, like I said in the video that I ended up just not making, <laughs> um, her copyright, I guess her copyright rules are pretty stringent, and I don't, I don't want to take her on, so, uh, but these are adorable to use you know, in a journal as decoration, I think. Oh yeah, that's the same. Aren't those cute? Okay, so that was all that I found. If I had been able to go to more places, it might have been more exciting and I would have been able to make a video out of it. But I, I can't keep all of that on my phone, so um, or I won't be able to make videos. So I decided to just get rid of it and try again another day when I have more time. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye!